Because remember, all of these respiratory illnesses are very dynamic illnesses. Anytime that I see a child with even a head cold, I always tell the parents that uh, your child does not, in, does not need any antibiotics right now, but there are two or three things that can happen. Head colds can go into the chest, cause pneumonias or bronchitis. They can go into the ears, cause ear infections. They can go into the sinuses. So watch out for those things. Anytime that you suspect that this thing may be traveling somewhere else, we need to see them back. And the same thing with flu. You can end up getting pneumonia with flu, okay? Now you can get flu, the pneumonia just from influenza virus itself. But what happens is that when your immune system is busy fighting something else, other bugs, which are usually kept away, they get a chance to attack you as well. So we call those secondary infections. So a lot of times it may just start as a flu and you're treating the flu and then two days later, they get an ear infection. So you see that the child is getting better the next day and all of a sudden fever goes up again. That means something has happened. Some secondary infection has set in and that is the time to go and get the child checked again. Or it's always a good idea that parents, I always tell the parents that this is when you should expect it to get better. Okay. Like for instance, uh, let me give you an example. Flu for instance, if you start flu treatment at the right time, 24 to 36 hours is when you will see an improvement. If you don't, I tell them to come back. Strep throat. If you are on the right antibiotic for the strep throat, you will feel better the next day. And if it's not, if it's past 24 hours with strep throat and you're not feeling better, it's time to go and get checked again. So it depends on what you are treating. And that's why it's always a good idea to ask your doctor, when should I expect a change? When should I get worried? Cool.